So after recording a video saying how we cope with rain and thunderstorms, what happens? Yep, the sun's out. Unpredictable weather. But uh, I like to walk down here in the orchard. These are the plum trees that have no plums anymore because they're all back there in the neighbour's barn. And we'll be taking you on the other side of that building when it comes time to make Schlivovica, plum brandy, and uh, your Bukovacha, which is apple brandy. But inside there at the moment, and I can smell it from here, there's this smell of alcohol already. The sun's out. And who wouldn't want to live here? Who wants to go and live in a city when I have this? But look, all the trees now losing their uh, leaves, piles of leaves that will get burnt. Yep, and we'll go and do a quick update. Oh, I can smell grapes from here. I certainly can smell grapes from here. We've got to go back at the top of the uh, property and pick them. But let's have a taste. Oh goodness me, that's cool. I'm going to try and zoom in on this. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but it's a super red admiral butterfly there. And these are our Mushmuller medlar fruit. They're still very firm. They've got to bled, which means almost rotting before you eat them. But look at the crop that we're going to have off this medlar tree. Used to be back in Elizabethan England, not the Elizabethan era that's just come to an end, but the first Elizabethan era, this was like a big fruit back in my home country of the United Kingdom. Um, I never knew what they were. They're called Mushmuller here. But we're going to be making jam out of them. See, some of them have fallen already. But the idea is we wait till they bled. It's called bleding. Not bleeding, bleeding, because look, I'm going to squeeze this very hard. And it's really firm, so we have to wait till they're, they rot a bit. And then you take them off and you put them in your mouth and you suck the insides out. And it just leaves this husk and a big stone. And uh, you get rid of that. Mushmuller. If you watched one of our last videos about connection problems with rain and storms. That's our mobile phone satellite dish. So we get um, that connected to a router so we can use our mobiles on the property. Mimsha, she likes to be involved in everything. And then down here, where are we? There's Cooper. And that dish is for a satellite television. We get satellite television from there, I don't know, 160, 180 channels, and then we get a huge amount from there as well. We don't watch them all, obviously, but it's all on offer. So Sunday in the Shire, with the weather looking nice again, please do subscribe to watch more videos here on the channel. Um, watch our videos till the end. It really helps with the algorithm. And press the notification button. Yeah. So, as I said, we're going to have vertical videos and horizontal videos as well. What do you like the most? Let us know. The warmth on my back is to die for.